guys, welcome to Bella's Bargains. I'm Amy. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so let's really quick recap. Let's see, I do Dollar Tree hauls, I do Dollar Tree DIYs, I do Dollar Tree price comparisons, I do Dollar Tree reviews, I do everything Dollar Tree. And today, you happen to be lucky enough to be joining me during my series of 25 days of Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs. So today is day number 23. And I did this little number that's on my neck. It's like a scarf of bells, not really. It's a garland of jingle bells, and it's really cool. Started out as gonna make a wreath, but that didn't work. And um, and a couple other things that I did for you. Some more bells. So watch the video, hope you really like it. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please hit that ringy dingy little bell thing there so you get notification when I upload videos. I will be back tomorrow for day number 24, so I really hope you guys like these that you're going to see today. Have a great day, great week, great life. Merry Christmas. It's so close. We're almost there. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe Christmas is always, almost here. Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow on Bella's Bargains. Enjoy the video. Okay, so this is gonna be Jingle Bells. I um, have three of the silver ornaments that are big bells and three of the, the white ones. Some decorative mesh that's the blue with the like snowflakes on it and the pretty Christmas ribbon with the trucks. And we're gonna do just a little grouping of three bells that you can hang on a wall. So let's go. Okay, so this one is going to be a Jingle Bell wreath, and I have um, Jingle Bells of every size, and all the colors, gold, red, silver, blue, I know, there's no blue, green, anyway. and I'm going to try and use this floral wire. If it isn't strong enough, I have a backup plan, it's called a wire hanger, um, but I'm really hoping that this is going to work. Basically, all I'm going to do is dump these into a bowl and randomly just pick up jingle bells and string them on the wire. And in the end, pull it all together to make a jingle bell wreath. So let's go. Okay, so I've gotten further along on this. And what I wanted to show you is that I found that if I put needle nose pliers in, some of the ones that didn't want to go on so easily, I just did it, just pried in there a little bit, and then they would go on a little bit easier. So, so I mean, eventually I figured out what would work. I'm gonna cut this wire and start coming from the other end, and then we'll put her all together. All right, so after getting them all strung up. In the end, I'm not making this a wreath at all because I think it's really cool as a garland and because I put it on the wire, it is easy to manipulate. Um, I didn't quite use all my jingle bells. 
I will probably finish these up with another garland at a later time um, because this is just really, really cool. I really love this. So there you go, not a wreath at all, a garland. So this one, I'm just going to take the calendar, shine right in all you do, and use the last month and frame it in this frame, which these are like 11 by 11 or something. I measured them before, but of course I can't remember. They are, no, oh, they're 12 by 12. Um, and they fit the calendar pages perfectly. And I think I'm going to use this ribbon. I don't know. I'm going to frame it first and then take a look at it. So this is a super easy one, but it's going to be very pretty. Let's go. isn't quite the right size. I'm gonna take, this is the from Crafter Square, it's the bling card stock, but it's black. So I'm gonna take a piece of this and put it in behind the picture and hopefully that should take care of it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 